Hi, I'm Claire. Do you want to learn how I got to 27,000 sales and counting? Watch this video and my others to find out how I did it. When I first started, I had two stores. One was for craft supplies and one was for handmade, but as I got busier, I found it easier to incorporate the two, easier to manage. How the Etsy algorithm works. Anytime you make money on Etsy, then Etsy makes money. You are paying them a fee, so the more money you make, the more money Etsy will make. When you create and post a listing on Etsy, it's given a temporary boost and goes straight to the top. If you have used the correct tags and titles, customers searching for your product will see and hopefully click on your listing. Hopefully they will favour your product and go and do a little research, or better still, they will purchase your product right away. So you can do the happy dance. Etsy will see this and think great and start to push your product, which helps keep it near the top. Think of it as Etsy is trying to find where to put your listing, so it's really important to put the time and effort into your listings. Research your niche. I don't mean to copy someone else, but see who has that star seller badge. Who has products sitting in lots of baskets? This will show that they are doing things correctly. Again, don't copy, but see what keywords they are using. Are their photos better than yours? Do they photograph their products in a different way, giving better views of the product? Do they use all 10 photos? Are they using videos? When I go back and look at my first couple of listings, it makes me cringe. But we all have to start somewhere. I think mine was a bookmark that a family member purchased. Imagine starting an Etsy store and having all this information to hand before you start listing your products. You have to find that target audience. Check out erank.com, especially for help with tags, but also remember to have some niche tags. Remember long and short tail keywords. An example would be keychain short black Labrador keychain, long tail keyword. Again, sticker short, orange horse stickers, long tail keyword. If you have not yet opened your Etsy store, um, I'll put a link in the description for 43 Etsy listings, but it's only if you've not opened a store. Um, and then if you don't sell anything, it won't cost you anything. But it'll give you a chance to also play around and get used to it. Now we get to photos. Customers are purchasing with their eyes. Make sure they look good to attract the customer. There are lots of videos on how to take good photos and what you can use, but please don't think you have to spend lots of money. I read about someone spending £300 on lighting, £1,500 on a camera that they did not need, when you can actually just use your iPhone, a simple tripod, you can even use books as a tripod, and a lamp with a daylight bulb can work wonders. How many listings? 5, 10, 20 or 100? I currently have a thousand listings. Please don't think you have to have that many. Remember, lots of my listings are craft supplies. The more listings you have will obviously give you a better chance of being found. Also, Etsy will show off your other products with listings that are doing well. I always say try to have 20 listings or work towards that number. Don't post one listing and wonder why you're getting no views or sales. I know that lots of people only work part-time or only have time on the weekend or evening to work on their Etsy and that is okay. Something you can do is duplicate your listings, change some photos or keywords. This is another way of finding out what works best and is a quick way to achieve more listings. Etsy algorithm will also love this.
don't give up. Keep making products. You see posts about how I made a thousand sales in my first weekend. I'm not saying that that's not achievable, but let's be honest. A listing lasts four months. It takes time to see what is going to work for you. Believe in your products. You are good at what you do. Just because you don't make sales does not mean your product is not good enough. Remember why you started and don't give up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please give me a like and subscribe as I am new and trying to grow my channel. I have so many videos planned for new and current Etsy sellers. Take care. Bye.